Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Stuart, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and it's a beautiful sunny day here on November the 20th, 2025, here in the Canadian Maritimes. Anyway, what I want to talk about today on this channel is ham radio coda activation videos. I was uh, just having a lazy day today and watching the YouTube and going through a bunch of POTA activation videos. And here's the truth. Most of them are boring. Yeah, that's, I've said it. Most of them are boring and I'm afraid that some of my POTA activation videos can be deemed as boring as well. This is why I have tried uh, not to necessarily focus on the amount of QSOs or record QSOs. Yes, I put some QSOs in my re recordings to demonstrate a point if I'm doing some DX or something like that. But I try to stay away from just shooting me going out to a park and showing you guys just me talking on the radio. Because I don't think outside, outside of the person who is actually being recorded, I just don't think you guys care about that stuff. Anyway, I was watching a YouTube uh, activation from some uh, a ham in Delaware today. And his uh, video thumbnail was interesting. He said his activation was almost ruined by a sad ham. And that is true. But only like a minute or two of his video was actually about the sad ham and how he combated that. And the rest of it was just a bunch of QSOs. Even worse, there were just a bunch of QSO with other American stations, just not, not demonstrating the DX capabilities or anything like that. Something that would be of interest. So like every good YouTuber person in my life that I am now at this stature, I've took that as a learning opportunity. What can I learn from that? Yeah, I think I'm on the right track on this channel. Record the destination. Show people the destination. Show them tips of, you know, where you're activating, you know, ways to where, to, where you can park, places to get, how you can get into it, that kind of stuff. Also showcase the technology you're using. Are you using a brand new antenna? One of the, one of the, one of the things I like about Walt, uh, Coastal Wave and Wire, Salty Walt, everybody knows Salty Walt. He is a DXer at heart, just like I am. And uh, he showcases his antennas that he's using or his technology he's using and does sprinkle in some QSOs into that. But it's not all about QSOs. So find, uh, you know, find things that you can show that are going to be interest to your viewers. Nobody wants to watch a 10 minute recording of all of your QSOs. That's one thing I have learned. My activation videos drastically un under perform videos like this or where i cover a controversial topic or just discuss uh, uh, one topic at, at uh, in over a three or four minute video so all you poda activator youtube recording folks find a way to make your videos interesting and also nobody wants to see you do a live stream of you just trying to muddle through cw or contesting as much as you think that's interesting your views reflect otherwise Unless you're not into it for the views. I mean, if you're just into it, document something, then that's fine. Keep doing what you're doing. I also like to get more views. So make interesting videos, cover a topic, discuss something that's maybe a little bit more controversial. Your YouTube content should educate somebody. Even if you don't know it 100%, you can learn from it as well. Make interesting videos and you'll have no problem getting half decent viewership on YouTube. I'm Stuart, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. As always, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts and we'll see you guys in the next video.